Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever heard of the word volume before? Uh, no, I'm not talking about volume like how loud the television or your music is. You may have heard about volume when talking about how much liquid a container holds, or about what the capacity of that container is. Well, we may need to know how much liquid a glass can hold, or how much milk or water to put in a recipe. It's very important. All right, well today, I'm going to show you how to find volume using unit cubes. Pretty cool, huh? And look, our friends are going to help us. Here's Latifa, and she's looking at water tanks for her fish. She's trying to figure out how much water is needed for her fish tank. If each fish needs 15 gallons of water, and she has four fish, which of the following tanks can hold enough water? Well, we need to find the total amount of water needed for all her fish. So, 4 multiplied by 15 gallons of water is equal to 60. And that means we need to find a tank that can hold at least 60 gallons of water. And it looks like the tanks that can hold 65 or 75 gallons of water are going to work for her. And look at that! You just found out the volume that Latifa needs for her fish. And that's an excellent start. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about volume. Volume is used for more than just liquids. The amount of cereal or flour that's in a box is volume as well. It can even be seen when you blow up a balloon. The more air you put into the balloon, the larger the volume it has. Pretty cool, huh? I love math in action. And now let's take a look at how to calculate volume. All right, here is one cubic square. And this can be a measure of volume. Notice that there is a three-dimensional shape. It has width, length, and height. Now picture this. A square unit, uh, the general unit that is used to measure area. It's 2D with length and width. But now, if you add another dimension to it, whoop, and give it height, it's a 3D cube. And that is one cubic square. Ha! Huh, this is fun. It's like playing with blocks. What do you say we pile them up? Wow, check out all these different shapes. Cool. Let's find the volume of each one of them by counting the number of cubic units that they're made of. All right, this first shape has one, two, three blocks in the back row, and there's one up on top and one out in front. And that gives us a total of five cubic units. So the volume of this shape is five cubic units. Nice. Now let's look at the next shape. When you're working with three-dimensional shapes, sometimes you can't see all the blocks. You can assume that these are all solid objects and that there aren't any missing units in the back. Now this shape has six in front and six in the back, and that's a total of 12. So this shape has a volume of 12 cubic units. Superb! Now let's keep playing with these 12 blocks. Can you think of how many different ways we can create rectangular shapes with these blocks? We could lay them all flat. We could stack them two blocks tall like we had in the previous problems, that there are two rectangles that are two blocks wide and have a length of three blocks. We can make them three blocks tall or even four blocks tall. There are so many ways that we can organize these blocks to make all sorts of different shapes, but all of them have a volume of 12 cubic squares. Pretty cool, huh? Ooh, what's Chen doing? Aha, he is looking for the biggest box he has in the garage to put away all of his sports gear. Well, Chen has three different boxes that he can use, and he wants the box that has the largest volume. So, let's help him figure out which box has the largest volume. All right, let's take a look at the first box. All right, on the base layer, there are three rows of four. Three times four is 12. And this means that there are 12 blocks on the first layer. And since there are three layers, well, we can multiply 12 by three. And that gives us a product of 36. Okay, so this first box has a volume of 36 cubic units. That can hold a lot of stuff. All right, on to the next box. This box has a base layer that is five units by four units. And this means that there are 20 cubic units in the first layer. 
Well, since there are two layers, we can multiply 20 by 2 and we get 40. Wow, this second box has 40 cubic units. That's even bigger than the first. Ah, let's check out the last one. Now this box, ooh, has only one layer. That's six units by four units. Well, six multiplied by four is 24. Now this box is only 24 cubic units. Yeah, that's the smallest one so far. Chen should use the second box to pack in as much stuff as possible. You did great today. We learned about some mighty unit cubes and how useful they are to find the capacity of different shapes and objects. Now I'm looking forward to exploring more about volume with you in the next video lesson. See you there.